Hey everyone, this is Mufrat Karimaritra from Bimzer International, and today I'm going to provide a demonstration of our enterprise asset and maintenance management system, which is Beam in fleet management. So, with the help of Beam in fleet management, you can manage the record, maintenance, activities, and costs of your assets, like your trucks, forklifts, or heavy duty trains and materials like brake drums, transmission gears, bumpers, fuel tanks, or the wheel hubs, and many more. So now let's get started. So in this example, we have a company called Milestone Transportation Company, and this company has a fleet of 30 trucks, six forklifts, and three heavy-duty cranes in three separate locations. So this is the assets list of Milestone and let's just say that the three different locations are New York, Chicago and Las Vegas. And now I'm going to show you the assets tree and you will now see the structure of the assets of Milestone in a hierarchy form as you can see. So for the particular locations we can also have the asset line in the asset tree and it's right here you will see that there is a heavy duty crane connected with the truck this means that they have combined it for particular tasks and in other words the parent and children relationship of the asset can be performed or showed in the asset list in the asset module you can enter the information regarding particular asset and for example, you can enter asset name, asset code, asset type, asset location of any kinds of assets. You can also have a unique serial number and the buying price for the asset. Besides, we can have the asset material that we connected to this truck with specific fields, crew and wire. We can have a maintenance team to take care of this vehicle. Right here. We have a truck mechanical team. Besides, the legitimate information can be entered, like your insurance information or your periodic vehicle inspection information. We can have the picture of the truck and the supporting documents, like the handbook guidelines or instruction, and they can also get attached in Beam. You can also have the warranty print for this truck. Besides the fleet, Milestone has its own crew. We can go to the personal module to the resources. You will see a number of mechanical engineers, drivers, mechanical supervisors, and the maintenance managers here. Now let's consider I am logging as a mechanical engineer named David. So if anything goes wrong with a particular truck, as David, I can create, uh, let's just say we. As David, we can create a work request for maintenance. We can have a fast request and we will now choose truck 001, which got a mechanical problem. We, we can enter some more supporting information on the open text box and attach any kinds of documents that support this work request. After saving it, you will get a notification at the bottom of your screen. Then we can switch back to the account of Sam, which was our maintenance manager. So as Sam, we can go to the work order. And here you will see what David has just created is now in the work order list. And now as Sam, we are going to carry out the actual work order and assign it to a particular mechanical engineer. So right here, you will see all the information we enter is showing on this form. And then we can select the planned start date of this work order and the planned last date of this work order. And then we can assign it to a particular personnel like Chris. Then we can choose materials that are going to be used. And there's a couple of truck and spare parts in the system, as you can see right now. So they are drums, bumper, wheel hub, fuel tank and transmission gear. We can choose 
either of them based on our own preference. And also, if a third party services like the vendor and the subcontractor is needed, we can also put them in this field. We can upload any documents that's providing supportive information like this driver handbook. So after all of them, you, we can just save it and this order will be shown in the calendar. In the work order calendar, you will see from, so I'm just going to pick June 19th to June 20th. And truck 001 has been in a mechanical failure, as you can see from the screen. So we can right click on it and that will give us the details of this work order. So once you create a work order, the record will show in the work order list. Then other personnel like say Christopher or David or Barry can find this record in the work order in Milestone. And then we log in as Christopher and carry out the maintenance activities that show in the work order. After we finish it, we can choose the start date and the end date. So right here, we can choose the start date as today and we can set the end date as, let's just say 6 p.m., same day, but 6 p.m. So we can also set the startup date as 8 p.m. Now we are going to check out the cost section. So as we can see, the cost will be calculated automatically with the total costs. Now you can save it. And after we save it, we can click close work order to close this particular case. Then we have to type some more information like the failure causes and additional details about this work order. And after all these required information is filled, we can click save and this order is completely done. The work order status will now turn into a green color. Now we want to keep fleet in the best condition and we don't want to wait until just a problem comes up. So we can go to the preventive maintenance and schedule a regular maintenance check for our fleet. So we can create a new preventive maintenance schedule. First of all, we have to choose which vehicle we're dealing with. Right here, we can choose the failure code like cleaning tank and how often this periodic maintenance can occur. We have the choices of day, week, or month, which we will just put as 60 days. We can also input all the used materials right here and then just create a work order on the top right. Afterwards, we can save it and this scheduling will be shown in the preventive maintenance list. Then this record will be shown in the calendar and right here on August 16th, we will have a record on this date that is our cleaning tank maintenance. So here's a situation. New York location needs, needs some more truck to perform the production. If someone from New York asks help from other location, we can just go to the beam under the assets module. Then we can choose equipment transport. We can have a request of the equipment transportation right here and we can choose the asset. Now we want our truck 15 from Chicago to move to New York and we can have some type of description or supportive information under the description. And by then the record of truck 15 will be changed from Chicago to New York. Then we can go back to the asset list and we will find that truck 15 is moved to New York as well. After carrying out this maintenance, scheduling the maintenance and also having the truck transported to New York, now we are going to check the spare part in the warehouse. So as you can see, brake drum, bumper, wheel hub, fuel tank, transmission gear, they're all over here, all the spare parts. Now we are going to buy more spare parts in the warehouse. Then we can go to the material translation and add some spare parts by adding the material incoming. Then we can first choose the warehouse and the department it belongs to. 
From there, we can choose which spare part we are going to purchase. So we want to choose transmission gears because that's what we need at this moment. So we will buy 20 more with the last purchase price. Then we can apply this purchase order and then save it on Beam. After we save it, we will get a look at the transaction record with the description, like its date, its time, and its type, and its warehouse. After managing the spare part, we are going to call it a day, but before we leave the office, we want to take a glance on the report about the performance and the status of the fleet. So we first go to the dashboard on the home page where we can have an overview of how many tasks are assigned to how many engineers. We will also get an overview of the work order, the cost related to their maintenance. We can also get the asset status report from Beam. We are now going to choose New York office and then we can prepare a report. Beam will show us how many truck and equipment fare is in active status. Right now, it is at 100% in active status. Then we can export its report into a PDF or Excel so that we can share it with other colleagues and the supervisors. We can also make a report about the maintenance as well. For that, we can go to the graphic report and select the most analyzed option. So from here, we are going to get a complete overview for a particular work order, the cost to the company, the maintenance team, the work time, and the delayed duration. Now let's consider, in the following weeks, we're just going to a business trip with very limited internet assets. So in that case, we can sign a scheduling report and get Beam, send it directly to our inbox. Right here, we can schedule that report by daily, weekly, or monthly, and we can choose the best time for Beam to send that report to. Now let's say 9 o'clock in the morning and then we can just save it. Now Beam will send the report to us at every morning at exactly 9 o'clock. Now when we are on our way, suppose we want to check the status of the vehicles. We can easily just take out our cell phone from our pockets and look into the mobile application of Beam. We can have the asset list in our mobile application and find that every truck is in the active status now. We can also just create a work order right there by entering all the required information. Now we can see the work order for truck 007 that we just created is now in the lists. Now everything is completely finished. This is some of our references who are using Beam on their fleet management and you can find more reference and more use cases on our websites. As we reach into the end of this demonstration, I would like to clarify that you are more than welcome to visit our official YouTube channel or contest directory for more demonstration of Beam. Thank you for watching. This is Mufrat Kori Moritra from Beamzer International.